Hey guys, Blix is back. And what I got for you today is a wire. A uh, buddy of mine, Aaron Rodgers, brought this in to me for me to test out and everything. And I'm like, cool, you know. I plan on starting up a YouTube channel here soon. So I've had the channel up for, what, like a week and two days now? So I've been using this for a little while now. But this wire, fire wire. Okay, well, I started using it, and I will honestly say he gave me a bag of 20 gauge. This stuff is just a dream to work with. When it bends, it stays. Alright, so I'm using it and everything, and I'm like, this has some terrific flavor for it. So I decided to break out the temple, which everybody knows is Cloud Comp RDA, not really meant for flavor. And I did eight wraps, just bare simple coils, a wrap dual at 130 watts. Damn. Now, this wire, I've been rocking the same build for over a week. And normally I like to change out my coils weekly to bi-weekly. I took the cotton out of here and cleaned up the coil and everything. The wire looked like it was still brand new, like I just put it in. I mean, this this coil build right here is about, I'd say, two, three weeks old. After I cleaned it out and everything, damn near identical in color. And the flavor that's coming off of this is just incredible. So, I actually got on their, uh, on their closed group, uh, hashtag FireWire. And, you know, I'm talking to them about the wire, telling them, you know, I'm going to be doing a review and everything. And So, that I contacted them on their main page. And sent them an email. It's like, listen, you know, I'm going to be doing a review here soon, and I just want to know some of the information about this. So Wes from Firewire sent me a message back, okay? Um, of course he didn't go into detail about the materials and everything, but he gave me what the basis of it is. Um, it, it's a definitely a stainless steel blend. And I would have never thought that I do not like stainless steel. Now, he did reassure me it's very safe at high temperatures and it's very durable. Um, it also holds up longer than cantho and nichrome over time. So far, that's holding up true. The resistance on this wire, though, is low. Like 8 wraps, dual core 20 gauge, it came out to a 0.1 exactly. And I actually had to fidget with that. It was coming out to a point zero eight, so I had to fidget with it until it actually, you know, went to a one. But this wire. Vapor production, that's 130 watts, and I could take that up a lot farther. It's not even a hot vape. It's a really cool vape at 130 watts. This stuff is premium competition wire right here. And I used Anarchist, I used G Plat. By far, this stuff is incredible. Um, now, their prices, I mean, they're good and not good. It's not Lightning Vapes cheap, but it's not Anarchist wire expensive either. Um, I believe you get 10 foot. Of wire, 10 bucks. And now they also do spools for, let's see, bring it up, 32 gauge. In case if you want to do Clapton, 150 foot spool, 25 bucks. Would I personally pay this for this wire? In a heartbeat. I just love the performance out of this. Matter of fact, I'm actually going to order some. Uh, 32 and some uh, 
I'd probably do 26 and see about just making simple Clapton's and try that out see what resistance it ohms in at and but do yourselves a favor I will have a link in the description below where you can find this wire just drop the money and try it I mean I'm pretty sure that they're offering a special let me see if I can find it again I did see a first time first time buyer special and I just want to make sure that that's still up here see I'm just gonna go click add the cart real quick sorry I I'm not even gonna bother editing this out you guys can fast forward um, Yep, right here. New registered customers get 15% off their first order. And it's free shipping on domestic orders, $19.99 or more. So, 15% off to try it. Do it. I mean, I love this stuff. I'm, I'm an avid uh, Anarchist Wire user. This has not. Anarchist has nothing on this. At 20 gauge, you would think that at 100, 130 watts, it'd be like extremely hot. I could barely even tell I'm vaping. So this is like high wattage wire. I mean, 130. And even if I turn it down to 80. Okay, 76. Still pretty good vapor production off of that. Turn it back up. Great vape. Go check it out. Um, as soon as I do something with maybe like a Clapton wire or something, I'll do a, like a recap video. Uh, tell you guys exactly how I think of that. Um, and it does say, of course, use at your own risk. But check it out. This is Blix. This is what I got for you. I approve of this wire. Later.